Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website, WayneD.com, the site for serious golfers. And we have done some David Duval, did a swing analysis of his uh, a few years ago. This is David. Uh, in 1999, we were playing a practice round at Medina, where I was paired with... Uh, David and Marco Mira and John Cook had a nice match. Duval was ranked at that point. I think he was ranked number two in the world, and made eight birdies in the first 13 holes. It happens to be the best golf I've ever seen played, personally. The shots were incredible. They were just about dead straight and. Like as you can see here, the pin is slightly to the right of the green, so this ball would start about a yard left of the flag and then just drop on top of it. And then if the pin was over here, he'd start it like right here <laughs> and work it the other way. It was uh, on command pretty much. So I've always loved this. I've always loved this swing. Um, so I was asked I have uh, when I did the video I didn't I didn't use all of the swings I have so I've had some people say you know come on if you got any more of those show them to us so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you so this is a this is like on the maybe on the second hole at Medina par 5 I think it's number two you can see it's pretty early in the morning we teed off at 630 in the morning to so the superstars could beat the crowds. Certainly not in my chosen time. And uh, funny story. Um, I was supposed to play with Kalkovecchia and O'Meara and Cook. And then Tiger walked up and said, uh, you know, what's going on? I don't have anybody to play with. So O'Meara looked at me and kind of winked and said, sorry, dude, you're out. <laughs> um, but... Tiger said, nah, I think Tiger heard. He was very nice about it. He said, I'll just go ahead. And then Kalkovecchia said, I'll go with Tiger. And then Duval showed up and said, what are you guys up to? So there you see, uh, there's Cook in the background here. And that's uh, Hank Haney, who followed us around the whole round. So these are some really amazing swings. Check out Duval's grip. I mean there's really there's really no way to open a club face uh, during the swing with a grip that's at least four knuckles and plus the right hand is, is, is over there. But as I... Now he hit this one about 280. He had a whole nother gear off the tee that he showed us, I think it was on 13, it's like a 600 yard par 5, he just got up and hit it 330 and before he hit it, Cook looked at me and he goes, watch this. So very, very interesting swing, he, he just jogged off the ball a little bit and then if you watch his head, it's going to move, it's going to stay right on top of the thing and when he hits it, it's going to be a tiny bit of backup. As you can see, the, the divot there. But you really won't see any better body rotation in this position here. It's pretty much perfecto. Alright, so this was a, a three wood or a five wood on this uphill par 5, he hit this in right up by the left edge of the green, a little left of the bunker. So look where the club is right there. Um, if we go back, if we look at some of the swings that are taken of him later years, like probably, I don't know, four or five years later, watch. Watch where this club ends up. So that is the textbook definition of stuck. 
So you, you can see the whole thing. You can see how much of his back you can see. So you know his right arm is way more behind him. Club head is a you know, it's a foot and a half inside of his hands. And he's not trying to hit a big hook or anything. The ball's he's just trying to hit it straight. He was most of the shots that he hit when I played with him, he was hitting a, a tiny fade, if anything, or straight. But if you watch these swings, one of the things that you'll notice right away is how flat the shaft is at left arm parallel. If you're looking for differences, it's just more across him and much flatter. So by the time it gets above the shoulder, it's going more behind him. So the right arm just gets gets more behind him. The club is more across and less laid off. And when it comes down, the hands drop down behind him more. And you can see how much later his upper body is to open up. Look how much of the left arm you can see right here at the same point in the swing. So our, you know the camera angles might be a tiny bit different, but you're getting the the gist of it. Now this was a this shot was unbelievable. This was after he hit that 330 yard drive. He had 270 left to the pin, which was on the back of the green. So he took out a two iron and he flew it on the green, which was probably 240, 245 and rolled it over the back. It was it was right at it too, almost hit the pin on the way by. Just ridiculous power. And again, this was just a nice, just like a perfect seven iron. Tiny little drop fade to about eight feet. Now he's been talking about getting the club above the plane. So I wanted to, to show you this. It's kind of interesting. This was on somebody film this off of television obviously you can <laughs> see everything in the background here but that's he's he's pretty much talking about how he wants to get the thing over over the plane but watch watch what happens once again he gets the club flatter than he used to for sure gets more behind him now watch this move here from there's the hand path so he can talk about getting it over the plane all he wants, but when the thing starts to dart back this way, the right arm is moving back here. It's retarding his lower body from opening up. So he has to he has to literally sling this thing around from the side. And if you compare that to this one. Watch how much more on top of this thing he is when he hits it. So in the follow through, you can check out the shoulder angle. So I'd love to see him play better, but I don't think he's going to I don't think he's going to get anywhere until he can until he can get rid of that backwards move. The, the swings that I used to do the swing analysis where I said, you know, he started to change the plane. You can just you can just see the thing dropping behind him here. And there's the club head stuck again. So certainly nothing like Nothing like this one. And then 
I think I don't know if I showed you this one, but this is a again this oh yeah I did it's like a that three wood. That's about it's feathered in there about two eighty. <laughs> so again, uh nineteen ninety nine back in the day. David Duval. Alright.